I am a kind of an unlikely person to talk about teen girl identity. Uh, <laughs> but I have learned a little bit about it recently. A few years ago, I started ImageF and created a set of very easy to use tools where a user can just type a few words of text or upload a photo and it allows kind of a creative image to be made. And it evolved and became more advanced and a community developed around it and it became more of a social network. The primary people who have used it have been teenage girls and they create things, they interact with each other. There are about 100,000 registered teen girls interacting every month uh, with the site. So through maintaining the network, I observed a few things. Our site is an open site. The trend the last few years has been around your real identity, but we've really kept it open. It's scary for some people in that anybody can kind of interact with you, but at the same time, it gives the opportunity for people to really explore their identity, use different techniques to segment themselves from the other people on the site. These are the profile pictures of some of the teenage girls. A lot of pink and a lot of hearts. Uh, one thing that we notice is a lot of teenagers don't use photos of themselves, but they use photos of models, not necessarily even celebrities, but other photos they find online which have idealized views, good-looking teenagers. Another trend is using the filters to uh, add effects on yourself and do different things to bling yourself up. That's, that's a very big trend. And uh, another thing we've noticed about the behavior is that basically even the most mundane uh, features we have, they find ways to exploit it in order to stand out and become more different. Even the usernames, people are using symbols and figuring out how to use foreign characters to uh, write their name. Can you read who, who this is? Anna, Annabelle. Princesita de Colores. Actually, I'm not sure what this one is, but it's... <laughs> It's uh, a smiley face on the back. It is a kind of authentication in order to show who they are. And also it's a filter to keep other people out because even the profile text has some of these ways of writing. And it's, it's hard to understand if you're an outsider or an adult. So it kind of rates their own identity. It makes them individual, but at the same time, it also keeps others out that they don't really want to interact with. And so in, in terms of themes, this is just a sample image, but people want to project themselves in a beautiful way and use effects and symbols and filters to make themselves look cool. And the rest of these images are from the site. Love and heartbreak is by far the dominant topic <laughs> for teenage girls. Cute and humor is, is also, I mean, a lot of this applies just outside of the demographic, but I'm, I'm just showing you. Friends, this is how your is going to be spelled in 10 years in this context. <laughs> music, music lyrics, celebrities and idols. One thing we notice is that certain North American celebrities are really popular all over the world, especially even the Middle East, although Asia is a little bit less. Decades past, people used to have you know, their binders and walls covered with 13 idols. So now that's obviously migrated online. But it's a little bit more interactive and in that people can put photos of themselves with, you know, the Jonas Brothers. They add their own identity to it. Uh, this user added uh, the symbol on the top right is actually their, their like a stamp that she created with, with her own name. And they actually uh, tweet to the artist with stuff they made. So we see people on Twitter saying to the artist, look, I made this remix of you or I made this. So check it out. Certainly association with certain films or media properties is always very important. There's two characters in Twilight from a few years ago, and people would take sides. These are two, um, Edward and Jacob were both vying for the love of Bella, and people would uh, choose which one they liked, although the issue seems to have uh, been resolved in the latest movie. I can explain that later if you want. <laughs> Avril Lavigne is by far the most popular around the world, and she has kind of a message of empowerment, and that no matter who you are, you know, you can be different, it's okay. And people really identify with that. As you can see on the left, somebody said, different from the other girls, and that I think a lot of people themselves are kind of exploring their identities, who they are. They may be shy in real life, but online they can really be expressive, have identities of, of who they associate with, and use images of themselves to feel good about themselves. 
what's missing is that people, we don't see a lot of people talking about like their home life or economic troubles, almost no politics, certainly in this demographic. It's really about just those topics that I mentioned and not about troubles of the world.